Okay, so it's now Monday. So it has sat from Friday to Saturday to Sunday to Monday. And I have to go to town, so I'm just going to unmold the soap for now. So I did end up, end up weighting this down a little bit. This is my alcohol. And I did come out and I worked out here quite a bit over the weekend making some Mabel. So I did come back out and I did spray it several times. And it's looking very good. So I was probably a little hasty in the, with the gloves because I have a hard time pulling the paper with gloves on. So let's see if we could just take this off for a moment. Not really, so. <laughs> oh goodness, gloves and I, we don't really get along super well. Weird things happen when I have gloves on. Of course now they're just not wanting to function at all, so whatever. We'll just, we'll just try our best to make it work. All right, that didn't work. I had to take my gloves off, so I will get this tape peeled up. Then we'll go back to gloves. Now when I unmold, you're gonna notice a little bit of kind of like splotchiness. Well, I don't know if you can see that, but you do get some gaps all along the edge and then the alcohol does seep down there. So that's what you will see there. So at this moment, I am very pleased with this top color. I think it turned out a lot more red than I thought it was going to turn out. So that's super cool. Alright, that looks good. Here we go. I kind of want to peek. I want to peek. I want to do it on my side. That's looking really good. Now the orange and the yellow are a little closer colored than I would like. I was wondering about that, but it's the same colors that I use, so I think it'll be all right. All right, you ready? Oh, you can't see it there, hold on. <laughs> I didn't realize you couldn't see it. I'm glad I caught that, so here we go. Because you still can't see the best, but ta-da! Look at it. Doesn't that look nice? I do want this to set for a little bit before I try handling it a lot and splitting it. Oh, we did have, a, did have a little bit of leakage there. Can you, you see the leakage? And that's why I like having it doubled. It just it caught all of that instead of it being stuck in my mold. This is looking great. So let's let's gander at this just a little bit. The layers look spectacular. Yeah. So the orange and the yellow are feeling very similar at the moment. Some of these will light up, lighten up as they're exposed to the air. So we're just going to see. So for now, I'm just going to set this back down and I'm just going to let it continue to air dry and then I will be back to split and cut. So it is yet another day and as it tends to be for me, especially when I'm videoing things. And I am going to split this up into loaves. Now the way I design my mold is that I have a small piece that comes off of each edge. The edge while still quite beautiful, you can't really see it I guess, the edge while beautiful is still not as nice as when it's been cut. So I like to take those bits off. I use them as samples from my customers. I use that as testers. I save some for, you know, I just keep, I keep a piece of every batch. All right, let's, perfect slice. Now, I am 
am not completely pleased with this batch, though. This does look better now that I cut into it. Huh. I might be alright with it. Looks like I got a little piece of a uh, purple. You know, I cleaned the stick blender between batches, or it could be green or something, but I cleaned the stick blender, but I didn't go through an entire wash, so sometimes that will happen. Get a little piece of soap batter from a previous part will go in. All right, I'm liking this a little bit better than what I was seeing on the outside. And then I cut my loaves at two and a half inches. Now they will always shrink a little bit as they evaporate their water. Where am I going? There we go. It's, it's a little curved in on this end right here, so I'm being a little particular. The top really did turn out to be a lovely color. Woo, nice. Now to do it again, I would get some like emerald green mica or something to help encourage this uh, green color along. And then I'd probably try for a little darker orange or a little lighter yellow. The yellow is pretty nice though, very saturated. And this uh, electric orange usually packs quite the punch for me, but they're not, they're not quite how it, I would do them next time. But that's okay. I have done so many rainbow batches. I came out weird, batches. I've done so many rainbow batches, it came out that way again. And they're always just a little bit different. Always, always, always. But as a whole, they're very beautiful, and I am more particular than most of my customers, so that's how that rolls. But I have done better batches of rainbow before. I think what I would have wanted is the orange to be brighter. I'm not sure why it's failing me with this batch. I do not know. But it's still very pretty. I think overall I just would have rathered the orange be a little bit brighter, the yellow a little paler, and the greener a little bit more to the green instead of this kind of a lighter green. But the blue and the purple I'm pretty happy with. And the red. I'm reddish pink thing it's got going on. I'm quite happy. This is a nice chunky piece. Now, I'm not, well, hmm, I guess I'll go ahead and do the little cuts here. So now what happens with this is that these are going to be shredded. And I'm going to put them into my confetti blossom batch. But I will just go ahead and do this for now. Because I don't know how much I'm going to use and I do always want it broken down anyway or else it'll just it's too it's too much to try to shred this which by the way I'm gonna have to climb up in the in the attic zone of this shed and find my shredders because I don't have those out yet so I'm going to keep on with this and then I will get set up with the soap cutter the soap bar cutter. While I'm cleaning this up, I will tell you about this soap cutter, splitter, loaf splitter. So this was made by Smith Creek Studio. And last check, they were no longer making these. Um, I don't know what's out there and available currently. I just know that I bought this at the time and I love it. I do like a single wire for my loaves, I just think it works easy for me. I change things too much, and so, even though I've been the two and a half bars for years and years, I don't know, I just like a single. So now for cutting the loaves, I have my um, multi-bar, and I cut it one inch, and it's by hand crafted by Bud Hafner. And I have, this is my third one cutter from Bud. I have a single, one where I cut it one and a half inches 
and also or not one and a half one and a quarter and also at this one inch it's definitely very pretty definitely definitely it smells amazing I know that's true I know that's right tried to think of where I'm going to put this I don't think I planned this well Oh, these wires actually look really cool <laughs> I am going to clean off the wires because this leftover bits of soap stuck to the wire will end up pushing down on the top of the bars and I don't want that in this particular situation sometimes I don't bother with it anymore but I don't want it on this one I want it to be as easy to clean up as possible now I don't plain and bevel my bars anymore uh, that's just a lot of extra work and waste really in the long run so I mean for this particular batch I would use it in confetti blossom but in general I don't do that anymore I did see that the guild we had to something called clean the world before where you can send your shreds and I've done that but I don't know I feel like it wasn't available the last time I tried and so I saw that um, the guild and the handcrafted soap and cosmetic guild they have a new place that you can send your soap shreds and what they do the people who accept them then they will melt them down basically do a rebatch and create new soap for those in need so that's a great thing I'm going to save one loaf and cut it for the gram so we'll cut one more here and then I have a lot of dishes to wash just a lot I have um, just a lot of dishes really from the different projects I've been working on and predominantly this soap batch that took a lot of dishes okay. one left okay so we just have this and when I'm done cutting the other one for the gram I will resort and come back to you to put the soaps on the tray all right so for the curing portion I have a piece of parchment paper in a plastic tray and the plastic tray is actually fitting inside aluminum tray and it does still fit on my curing rack like this now soap makers we tend to use bun racks commercial bun racks and the cold process soap cannot sit on aluminum so buying these plastic trays and putting them inside I mean it's it's a little bit of an extra process but I do like more of a barrier between my soap and the aluminum so this works quite nice and it's so sturdy these are a little flimsy and don't fit on the curing rack quite right so this is what works best so I'm just going to start getting these on the tray and I do love I do love a tray of rainbow soap it is so gorgeous and a cold process soap needs to cure for four to eight weeks it is not ready to go when it's made it takes about 24 hours well it doesn't take 24 hours to solidify exactly but it does need to go through a saponification process and it gets nice and solid so that you can unmold and cut and that usually that takes a while but 24 hours is usually my unmold time did not happen this time but that's my minimum is 24 hours and then once it's cut it needs airflow and they will evaporate the excess water 
they will undergo some chemical magic and create just an amazing bar of soap. I get 13 usually there. Goodness gracious. It's, it's just so, it's so cheerful. And it just makes me so happy. I adore rainbows. I always have. I'm a Lisa Frank, you know, girl from the olden days. I don't know about how they're, I've heard some negativity about their operations, but I have not confirmed it. But that was just always my thing. Lisa Frank, rainbows. I've always loved rainbows. I get giddy about rainbows. I think in rainbows. I think I see in rainbows. And I adore rainbows. I have, I think it's, oh goodness, I told a friend 22, but I think it was actually more than that. I'm going to be making like 8 to 10 rainbow soaps and not making, well, 14 to 15 actually. What am I doing? I am creating chaos. Any who's it's. I just have that many designs. And yes, I can do rainbows in a lot of different ways. But as far as it's like a straight layered rainbow, I only do this and I've done a neon rainbow. But everything else is a mix of shreds and swirls and this and that and the other. And it's really cool to say that I make pretty much 25, 22 to 25 rainbow designs. I love it. That's just my thing, you know. I work really hard to line these up, but then usually just bump the trays. I'm walking and they just all slide around anyway. But yeah, we're veering, huh? We're veering. I was trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell you, part of my process and such, but I don't think so. Now I start working on labels and I'll pull these off for pictures probably two to three weeks. Well, if we're being completely full disclosure, probably about two days before I want to release them is when I'll get a picture because that's how I roll. If I don't procrastinate and then have all that stress at the end, I just don't get it done. That's just me. I have learned that that is just me and I don't fight it anymore. I just know with confidence that I will get done what I need to get done in the time frame I need to get it done. Will I be stressed? Most likely. But I will get it done. This makes 68 bars. Always leaves me with three to put here on the end. Boy, that one is a little smeary with some purple from another part of the scenario. Happens. So when I go to clean them up, what I do is I just take a paper towel or a cloth and I just wipe all their edges. That kind of smooths out the sharpness of the edges and just kind of buffs it and it makes it look really nice. I hope you have enjoyed this in-depth look at my soap making process from prep to cut. As always, you can find my products at MoRiverSoap.com. On Instagram, I'm Mo River Soap, and on Facebook, I'm Missouri River Soap. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye. Oh, already slid. <laughs>